Hey guys, welcome back to Chess for Nerds, and today I'm here to present you a video about a very cool gambit slash trap which features two brilliant moves. So without any hesitation, let's get straight into the video. So we're going to be looking at two lines, both of them are very easy, but the second one is a lot more exciting. So I suggest you stay till the end of the video. So here we have e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and bishop to b5 with the Rui Lopez opening. Now you play a rare variation called the bird's defense, and if your opponent takes your pawn here, you could take their bishop, but we're not going to focus on that. So here they're going to take your knight, and you take back with your pawn. Now there is nothing on this diagonal, so your opponent switches to the diagonal over here. So here they play bishop to c4, and you play knight to f6. Then they play e5, trying to kick out your knight, but you attack their uh, bishop so that if they take, you can take their bishop, and it's an equal trade. So here they play bishop to b3, getting back to a safe spot, and you play knight to e4, also getting to a safe spot, but also attacking. Now they play f3, and you set up a trap playing bishop to g4. Now if they take the bishop, so if you're a bit lower rated, like I am, and your opponent doesn't see this, you're going to play queen to h4 check, and they're going to play any move here with their king, and let's say they play king to f1, checkmate. Now let's say they play something like king to e2. Now what you're going to do is play queen to f2 check. They have only one move back here. And with your knight, you are going to checkmate them. So yeah, that's the first line. So here we have the same position and we will look at what will happen if your opponent does not take the bishop. Here your opponent will castle. You play d3, freeing up the diagonal for your bishop to check the opposing king. Now f takes g4 and you play bishop to c5 check. Now your opponent has to play king to h1. Now you play knight to g3 check the first brilliant move of this game. They take the knight, you play queen to g5 with ideas here, and the only safe move they have is rook to f5. But what if they don't do that? Let's say they play a waiting move such as this, you will just checkmate them on h6. Now what if they actually play rook to, h, uh, to f5? Now what you will do is not move your queen away, but sacrifice it with pawn to h5. Now if they will take your queen, what you're going to do is take the pawn on g4, discovered check, and they have to block because they can't go here because of your bishop. So they have to block and you'll take the rook and you win the game. 